Our paper is No Asians Are the Same, a disaggregated approach to identifying anti-Asian racism in social media. When you hear the word of Asia or Asian, the first thing that might pop into your head is probably Chinese food, Chinese kung fu, or K-pop music. However, it's crucial to remember that Asia is a diverse continent comprising many countries, not just China, Korea, Japan, or India. Each country or ethnicity has its own unique cultures, traditions, and contributions to the world. So we would like to use a disaggregated approach to show that no Asians are the same. We are focusing on the anti-Asian racism in social media. Anti-Asian hate crimes surged in the U.S. during the period of COVID-19 pandemic, and it was prominently about anti-China sentiment. It's gotten some buzz, but it's not just about the COVID-19 or just China stuff, and it's not just about one type of Asia folks either. So our purpose is to examine online anti-Asian hate using a disaggregated data approach to understand the distinct Asian communities and reveal the significant disparities within the Asian American population. So we address three research questions in this study. The research question one, we investigate the temporal evolution of toxicity score to explore the overtime trends of anti-Asian messages and calculate persistence scores to examine the similarity of temporal trends across ethnicity groups. What we found is that the head is pretty much persistent over time. Nuanced differences exist in the temporal patterns when the data are disaggregated by ethnicity. Research question 2 examines semantic distance among anti-Asian messages that target different ethnic groups and how this distance varies over time. We perform MCA and the results suggest that toxic anti-Asian messages encompass a range of discussion that vary over time and depending on which Asian groups they are targeting. For research question 3, we perform bulk topic to investigate topical narratives in anti-Asian tweets. The findings suggest that there are distinct and pronounced thematic differences in the narratives targeting different groups. In order to address these research questions, we collect 2.6 million messages from X, and more details about our experiments, results, and discussions are demonstrated in our paper. So what we have done in this study is disaggregating the data help us get the full picture of online anti-Asian head. It also reminds us to think more deeply about how the multicultural society needs to value diversity, equity, and inclusion. Thank you.